Okay, first graders, we are going to color in our family portrait today. This is a family portrait that I did a couple years ago, okay? And I'm just gonna show you what the whole thing looks like when it's colored in, okay? Notice how when I colored in my sky, I didn't just color a blue line at the top, right? I colored in all the way down to the ground or to the fence, okay? This was my family a couple years ago before I was married, okay? So there's me, and I had shorter hair back then. There's still my dog. I still have the same dog. And then I drew my mom and dad as my family since I wasn't married yet, okay? So that is what it's gonna look like when you're done. So today what we have is our outline, okay? Who remembers what an outline is? Raise your hand. Awesome, an outline is when we draw the outside line without coloring it in. But today's the day you get to color it in, okay? So just kind of like when we were doing our self-portrait, okay, we had to find the markers that were the right color for us. I'm gonna find the crayons that are the right color for my hair and for my skin. Now, there might not be enough for everybody to have a peach crayon, so you might have to share. So if there's no peach available, Maybe you say, well, I'm gonna color in my clothes first, okay? So you just have to share, okay? When I color in, I am going to always outline, okay? So I'm gonna go around the outside edge. Let's see if I can, I'm gonna zoom in there for you. Okay, see my face? I'm gonna outline because I don't wanna get out of the line. So if I do it this way, then it makes it easier to color in the middle without getting out of the lines, okay? Same thing on my neck. I like to outline it, then color it in, okay? What else is the color peach? My arms, and then my husband will be peach too, right? He and I have the same skin color. Now, if you don't have peach skin, you might wanna look for a brown or maybe a tan crayon. Those would also be good skin colors if you have a little bit darker skin. Because remember, God made everybody a little bit different, right? We're all special, made in his image, but everybody is a little different. Don't you think it'd be boring if we all looked the same? It would be very hard for your parents. Boys and girls, watch me color in my hair. Again, I'm gonna outline around, I don't wanna get any brown on my face, so I'm gonna outline around it. Then it makes it easier for me to stay in the lines. Then I can color faster in the middle. See that? And then I want you to think about like your clothes. What, are, what color are they gonna be? They don't have to be the colors that you're wearing right now. They can be your favorite color, or maybe you have a favorite outfit, okay? Um, I think that I wanna be wearing, I kinda wanna be wearing the color I'm wearing today, which is what color? Yellow. Yellow, yellow. so yellow let's do. Kind of like a peach. Yeah, so let's do a yellow shirt. So I'm gonna outline again. And I have my blue jeans on. First graders, you're all being so good on the carpet. Thank you for sitting quietly. Let's do gray shoes. Or what do I call them? Sneakers. Okay, um, I got out of the lines a little bit. Do you see right there? Do you think that's okay? Yeah. Sure. You can erase crayon. Well, you actually can't erase crayon, but it's still okay because when I color in my house, I'll just color on top of that and no one will know it was there, okay? What color do you think I will make the ground? Ground. 
green or brown, depends on if you're standing on dirt or grass. Um, what color do you think I might make the sky back here? Blue. Probably blue, unless it's a really gloomy day. And remember, your sky is at the top, but it's also, it goes all the way down to the fence or to the ground, okay? So you're gonna have to outline all of that so that when your sky is done, it looks like that, okay? All right, so that's what you're doing today is coloring in your whole family portrait.